I never knew it could reach this dimension. Glory be to God in the highest. But before I dwell on its divine dimension, I wish to thank all here present for sparing their time out of your tight schedule to honor God, our Alpha and Omega, without whom nothing can be done. I want to assure you that an hour with him is like a thousand years. And time spent in his presence is of immense riches spiritually and physically. Back to fire revival and conversion. It has been a blessing to mankind so far. In these journeys of 25 years, it has won many souls for Christ. Works of signs and wonders have manifested on the sick, the lame, the deaf, and dumb. The barren of five, ten, twenty, and twenty years, thirty years, have been blessed with children and in some cases with twins and triplets. Again, the hopeless and forsaken and society outcast have been redeemed and blessed. The amazing aspect, however, is the fact that fire revival has become the relying point for pastors, evangelists, reverends, bishops, and workers in the Lord Vineyard, generally for spiritual regeneration and uplift men. Many receive more anointing. Many ministry that had dreamed immediately they partake in the fire revival launch into increase. In the physical world, the Lord used the fire revival for prayers to sustain local states and nation, nation for peaceful coincidence. Even the anointing of leaders are revealed and carried out like the days of the prophet in the Bible, the Lord ministers from across the globe have been invited to minister and use their unique anointed for lost choosing people. Nigeria is a nation distinct for greatness. She needs our prayer. Pray for Jerusalem. And those who love her will prosper. In Nigeria, we do not want war. Ethnic strife or violence. When we pray for the nation, it is then there will be peace in every home. There will be peace in every situation. There will be Developments in the state and the local governments. The Bible enjoins us to pray for our leaders so that they will steer our ship of state to a safe harbor. In this fire revival and conversion, we shall pray for our president, our governors, the Senate, House of Representatives. Uh, representative, House of Assembly, local government, chairman, 
and counselors, all bars and chiefs. The law enforcement agents, and I believe that peace and blessing of God that pass man understanding shall be the Lord of our nation. This year fire revival will not be an exception. In fact, God's mighty hand will move. And I believe that it has been happening and we are expecting more to come in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ says, if you believe greater work than I have done will be done by you after I leave the world. So stand firm. Believe. Open your mind today and you will see the glory of God. For this fire revival and conversion, God has anointed they are servants. Leak, Bishop Dr. Tayo Dunuga, Bishop Blue, USC, Reverend Carl Mensoni from Norway, Prophet J.B. Kumoluyi, Pastor Shegu Olutuji, Olatuji from London, Reverend Mrs. Owa, and myself. Proverb P.F. Owa. The founder of Christ Revival Miracle Church, loaded with the Spirit of the Lord and ready to pray for you today and minister to you as the revival comes to an end today and your life will never be the same again. I pray that as the prayer session, according to what I have said today, that we are going to pray for every one of us. As the prayer is going forward, you will be transported to greater heights. You will experience abundant increase. Your land will be healed. You will bless your for Akolore wani kene ma finyo. Yeah. Give me my feet, oh, Lord. 